Hello all, this is Ben Falk for KillerSites.com. Welcome to a screencast on CRUD basics with MySQL I and PHP. What exactly is CRUD? That stands for Create, Read, Update, and Delete. It's one of those foundational concepts that you need to understand when working with databases. Almost, it's almost essential for anything and everything that you build that accesses a database. You have to understand how to be able to add and edit records that are in that database. I'm going to be specifically covering MySQL I today. There are a couple different ways that you can access a database using PHP. Um, there's the PHP MySQL extension, there's the MySQL I extension, and there is PHP Data Objects or PDO. And the MySQL I extension has a couple benefits that I'm going to be demonstrating in this tutorial today. Um, the main two are that it provides better security. Um, the standard MySQL extension has been known to potentially cause issues with cross-site scripting and SQL injection, which are issues you really don't want to have to deal with. So or MySQL I includes um, prepared statements, which make it a lot more secure, and it also provides better performance since the new extension has improved speed dramatically. So, um, let's get started and I'm going to show you briefly what we're going to be building in this tutorial today. I've opened Firefox and this is the basic web application we're going to be building. It's pretty simple. Um, we're just going to imagine that we're part of a sports team and we want a basic application to keep track of who's on our team. Um, we could obviously extend this much further, but in this simple example, I'm just going to keep track of the first name and last name of people on our team. So it allows us to add new people to the team. So, um, so we're going to go ahead, see how it shows up. So we can add new people, we can edit them, submit, and then we can also delete them if we want to. So this is sort of a standard building blocks for almost any application that you build. Um, you need this sort of functionality. So uh, let's get started building our actual application. This tutorial is aimed at beginners, but hopefully you have at least a basic understanding of PHP and a little bit of experience of working with the MySQL database. So to get started here, um, first of all you're going to need something like MAMP, um, which stands for Macintosh. Apache, MySQL, and PHP, or WAMP, which is the Windows version. Um, it allows you to run PHP and MySQL on your local computer. Or if you have access to web hosting and you have a web server available to you, that's another option to go with. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my text editor, which in this case is Coda, and I'm going to create a new file. And first of all, I want to just make sure that MySQL I is installed on your computer. And now MySQL I has been included since PHP 5 came out, and that's been a little while now. So it should be included on everyone's computer, and most servers have updated to PHP 5. But uh, just to double check. So I'm just going to do PHP info and preview that. And if we go down the page, we should be able to see, let's see where it is. Okay, so here's MySQL, and then just below that is MySQL I. So I just want to double check that you have this. Um, if you don't have this, you're going to need to potentially upgrade your install of WAMP or MAMP or talk to your web hosting about upgrading to PHP 5. So just as long as that's clear. Okay, so I'm going to go back. Um, first thing we want to do is consider the how we're going to actually build this application. So we're going to build it with a couple different files. Um, I want to have a connect DB script that'll hold all of our connection to the database. And then I'm going to have a couple other files. I'm going to have a file for viewing all the records in our database. 
We'll have a file for deleting records, and we'll have a file that both adds and updates records in the database. So let me start with the uh, connection to the database. So uh, MySQL I is pretty similar to standard MySQL in a lot of ways. But the main difference is that you can use an object-oriented approach and uh, makes things a little bit simpler and easier to understand the code. So I'm going to go ahead include my server details. And this you will change depending on whatever your variables are. Uh, mine is localhost root root and I'm connecting to a database that I'm going to call records. Um, actually, I take that back. I'm just going to call mine records too. You can call yours whatever you want. Um, I'm going to show you how to set that up with PHP my admin in a minute. So these are the connection details. Um, now to actually connect to the database, so I'm going to um, name this as MySQL I, and it's going to be new. And then we're going to pass in all the data that we just created. So server user and okay, so that's the start. Um, let me go back and create our database. So I've opened up phpMyAdmin, and I'm going to go ahead and create a new database. I'll call it records2, and create that. And then we're going to want to create a table in this. I'm going to call mine um, players, because again, going back to the idea that we're creating this application um, since we're part of a sports team. And it's going to have three fields. It's going to have an ID field, which is going to be an int, and it's going to be the primary key in this table, and it'll auto increment. And secondly, we're going to have a first name, that'll be a varchar, um, we could put that 32. I believe we set on that, and then the last name, and again, 32. Okay, so let's go with that. Okay, so our table is being created. Um, let's go ahead and insert a couple data, insert a couple of, uh, fields. So. Um, so we've entered in two names. I'll just go ahead and enter in two more. So mine <laughs> and okay. So if we go browse, we have created our table and we have some data in it that we can use. So let's go back to our text editor. Um, so this is the basics. Just make sure I'm going to save it and I'm going to preview things. And we don't get any sort of error, so that's good. It means the connection's fine. Um, <clears throat> one other thing I should note: when you're working with MySQL I, um, sometimes it helps to have additional errors being reported to you in case you have problems. So I'm going to go ahead and add uh, MySQL I port, and I'm going to add. Okay, so this will show errors if we have issues with the database. Um, you probably don't want to show these to your user, so when you put, if you were to put this website live, you'd want to remove this line. 